Techworld är i Warszawa där AMD lanserar Spider-plattformen. Här kommer göra det möjligt att köra fyrkärniga processorer och även fyra stycken grafikkort på samma moderkort och i samma system. Alltså. Vi är här och pratar med lite olika folk både från AMD och journalister från hela Europa som sitter här bakom och benchmarkar de här nya systemen. So AMD is here to introduce the Spider platform, which is which is three parts of a PC. It's the the motherboard chipset, it's the the graphics card, and it's the CPU. So we're bringing something that no one has ever brought to the market before—a whole platform all at once. So is it something equivalent to Centrino, or is there any differences? Um, <clears throat> yeah, this is quite different from something like Centrino. This is um, a, a desktop PC platform which um, individual manufacturers can choose to, to build around and then stick the extra components on, um, but they can also treat it as a set of components if they wish. Um, so Spider is, is those three components, but you can take those components and mix and match them as you like. Can you tell me a little bit about the news in the, in the new graphic boards? So the, the new graphics cards come in uh, in two forms. There's the HD 3850 and the HD 3870. Um, and the, the really cool stuff about this is that for around the 180 euros or up to about 250 euros, um, you're going to see performance which was typically around twice that price. The other thing that you can do with these graphics cards is you can plug several of them in. So if you want to have two or three or four graphics cards in a machine and have it just run faster by nearly two or three or four times, um, then you get a lot out of having 3850s and 3870s and upgrading the system through that kind of path. So I'm here with Andreas Schilling from Hardware Looks. Uh, you've done some benchmarking. Uh, what is your uh, take on Spider? Uh, I don't really know what uh, AMD expected a lot. I expected a lot, but I don't think that uh, the result is uh, as they expect and I expect because they told us uh, Crossfire uh, is scaling by 80% and in our benchmarks we uh, we see figures that it is scaling like uh, 20 or 30%. and. Uh, they told us a lot about PCI Express Gen 2 and uh, we had to enable it in the BIOS. By default it was disabled and we didn't know that, because, so we had to, to do some benchmarks twice. Uh, but uh, hopefully at home with uh, a, uh, a relaxed area we can uh, benchmark again and see other figures, so we will see. En stor grej med DirectX 10.1 är Global Illumination som Richard Huddy här från AMD har pratat ganska mycket om. Eh, och det tänkte jag visa lite grann vad det handlar om på den här demon som eh, AMD har gjort. Jätteenkelt spel. Man ska med hjälp av en hårtork blåsa runt massa pingpongbollar i ett rum. Eh, och de ska då in i den här cirkeln så får man poäng. En nyhet med Global Illumination är att eh, man kan frångå det här med att ha punktbelysning över att i spelen istället ha stora ytor som är belysning i sig. Eh, som exempel kan vi blåsa på de här pingpongbollarna och så ser vi att den här gröna ljuset reflekteras på rätt sätt på bollarnas undersidor. Det ser faktiskt ganska realistiskt ut. Och även om vi tittar upp i taket här och på pilarna här på väggarna så ser vi att det är stora sjok med belysning som ligger. Mm. What is your opinion about the Spider platform? Uh, it looks like an interesting platform. Uh, the motherboard, the chipsets are really, really good. Uh, the processors, I think AMD offers a very good value for money, but I do think they have a problem in the high end. Uh, there's no way they can beat Intel at a, a more expensive price point. And I'm not sure if people want to buy uh, mainstream computers. I think there's a lot of people who want to buy powerhouse. And as long as AMD has nothing to offer, I don't think that's such a good thing. Mm, AMD's new Spider platform gör sig bra i spelen, men AMD har ändå ingenting som ligger där absoluta toppskiktet som både Intel och Nvidia har nu. De ligger lite grann efter vilket även många journalister verkar hålla med om här. Men nu har vi gjort vårt här i Warszawa och det börjar bli dags att åka hem till Sverige igen. Men innan dess lite mer spelande.